Hey there, hope you're doing good. In the last four years, since Donald Trump became the US president, you must have heard something or the other every now and then related to the changes that he might bring in to the H-1B visas. And finally, just before leaving the office, there has been a final rule that has come out which would affect a lot of people if it gets implemented and yes there is a effective date uh, just a couple of months from now so in this video we would be talking about that rule which could devastate many dreams we would talk about the details of this rule we would talk about when this rule would get get implemented and we'll also talk about if there are any chances that um, joe biden who's about to become the president would actually freeze that rule or not so if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, Joe Biden is about to become the US president in just a couple of days time. And maybe if you're watching this video after 20th, he would be the president by then. But before leaving the office, Donald Trump has made a big change in the H-1B lottery system. Basically, it would not be a lottery system anymore things will change a lot so what is this new rule all about but before we discuss about that big change in detail let me tell you about the immigration ban that uh, trump has extended until 31st march so back in june 2020 uh, trump banned the immigration for the rest of uh, the 2020 for the next six months uh, he said that there would be no H-1B visas, no H-2B visas, no J or L category visas uh, that would be issued for the rest of 2020, citing the job losses uh, of the American citizens. And now he has extended that immigration ban to 31st of March 2021. But there are good chances that when Joe Biden takes over, he would actually revoke that or uh, invalidate that ban very soon. But yes, now there's another big concern with this final rule being announced by United States that there would be no lottery system anymore. They're changing the process of allotting the H-1B visas to people. Many of you might be aware about the lottery process for the H-1B visas. So uh, just to give you an example, if let's say there are 1 million applications, 1 million people have applied for the H-1B visas they would pick up 85,000 people in a particular year. I think that was the number for their quota. Uh, so they would randomly pick those people, those profiles from uh, the pool. There was no criteria as such, but now they have introduced a new criteria that would make it very difficult for many people to get the H-1B visas. So what does this final rule has to say? This final rule, which was announced a few days back, says that now, there would be no lottery system. They would actually issue the H-1B visas depending on the wages of the employees. And the priorities would be given to those people who have higher wages. So it would be very difficult for entry level person to actually get the H-1B visas according to this rule. Now, this rule would be applicable from 9th of March, 2021. So basically, whenever they start issuing the H-1B visas once again, this rule would be applicable. Okay, let me give you a little background and explain it to you better so that it would be much more easy for you to understand this new rule. Basically, a couple of months back um, in the month of November 2020, they actually proposed this new change. They said that, okay, we want to introduce this change that uh, H-1B visas would be issued based on the wages. The people who have higher wages would have more chances of getting the H-1B visas. It does not mean that people who are um, who have lower wages would be ineligible. But if they're people with higher wages, then they would be given more priority. Basically, they want to say that if there's a person who is highly skilled, more experienced, obviously his wages, his salary would be higher as well. So they want to prefer that person over the person who is inexperienced or maybe slightly less skilled. So when they actually proposed this change, they published it. That, okay, this is a proposed change. And uh, if you have any comments on it, you can let us know. It may be a person, it may be a corporate 
or maybe a university who would have any you know uh, comments in favor or against that uh, change so many people actually commented on it corporates universities commented on that rule many did support it and many opposed it as well but finally they have said that okay they have given reasons to everyone in support and they have not accepted any changes that were actually suggested by uh, you know any other person through any comment the proposed change has been accepted as it is and the new rule would be that people with higher wages would have higher chances of getting the h1b visas this basically would mean that people with l3 level jobs or l4 level jobs would have much higher chances of getting the h1b visas while people with the l2b would have a slightly lower chances and probably there would be no chances of people with l1 jobs getting the h1b visas now this is a big big concern it's a big change now this would affect many people let's say you are from it industry and you want to get the h1b visas your salary in us was expected to be 80000 but because there are more people in the pool who have applied who have salaries of 120000 or 150000 they would be given priority over you so that is a big challenge for employees and the employers as well because if they want to recruit anyone they would normally recruit any person um, you know they would put the file in uh, the lottery and if it gets picked then the person would then could come to us right but now the chances of the person whose salary is lower would be reduced dramatically now this is also a very big concern for all those us universities who used to attract the uh, international students from worldwide because obviously when a student passes he does not get a job of l3 or l4 level he does get an l1 level job and slowly as he gets some gains some experience he gets to l2 and l3 but it would be a problem because they won't be able to get the h1b visas very easily now and yes they have actually tried to go against they have tried to oppose this rule they've tried to say that okay uh, while countries like canada australia and european uk even is introducing more um, more measures to actually increase immigration in their countries us is actually implementing such rules which would actually reduce immigration um, within us so that's a big concern for those universities as well and probably that concern would definitely be heard by joe biden when he becomes the us president on 20th of january so yes coming over to this question that will joe biden override this rule or invalidate this rule or freeze this rule whatever you want to say it until now we haven't seen any comments directly from joe biden or the democratic party or their stand on this uh, they have said about different measures on h1b that they would actually you know they may increase the quota or they may reduce the quota depending on the employment uh, scenario in us they've said that okay they would actually uh, definitely invalidate that immigration ban but about this new rule change they haven't uh, spoken a lot i've tried to go through many articles and yes most of the experts actually say that Joe Biden would definitely invalidate this new rule. It's not a matter if Joe Biden will invalidate this rule. It's a matter of time when Joe Biden would actually invalidate this rule. Uh, it would be interesting to see that. Yes, I would continue to inform you about it. I really hope that the information that I provide in this video uh, would help you understand the new rule. There's been a lot of talks about it. But sometimes it gets very difficult for us as a layman to understand these technical terms. I tried to cut it down to very simpler um, words just to explain it to you. I really hope that it was easy for you to understand. And I also hope that when Joe Biden comes in, he would actually invalidate this rule so that things become a lot easier. All those people who dream of moving to US, all their dreams should come true. So thanks a lot for watching this video guys if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please click the subscribe button if you have any comments any feedback please put it down in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching this video